What's up everyone? It's Zach. Finally filming more videos. I know I've been a little inactive lately, but I've been getting tons of requests to drop a skincare routine, so I finally edited it and posted it, clearly. Um, and I'm also going to be talking a little bit about my favorites, so let's get started. We are actually filming in my makeup room. I thought it'd be cute to film in here for a little bit, just get a little glimpse, you know what I'm saying? So the first product I like to use morning and night is the um, Hauric MD Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And this product is basically for um, replenishing your skin's hydration and um, making sure that your skin is fully hydrated, plumped, and it has all the nutrients it needs. And this serum actually features green tea, vitamin B5, and aloe, since it prevents and repairs. And I am no esthetician or dermatologist. This is just the stuff that works for me and my skin. So take my advice with a grain of salt. Um, and basically, I just start out by applying this all over my toned and cleansed face. Um, I cleanse my face daily with uh, Cetaphil All Skin Types as a mild um, cleanser on my Clarisonic. And this is just your basic Mia Clarisonic. And then every day I exfoliate my nose, T-zone, and chin um, with this. This is from Brazil. Um, it's an exfoliator. My esthetician's from Brazil and she swears by this stuff, so that's why I use it. And then every week I would exfoliate my whole face. And we are back! So I had to put this thing on my head because my hair was getting all on my face. And the next thing I like to do nightly, I sometimes do it in the mornings, but like let's be honest, like we're not like fully like motivated in the mornings, so we're not gonna have like a 10 step skincare routine. So maybe I'll just do like the basic thing, like my um, serum and then like my primer and stuff like that, and not always eye cream, but we should. Um, this is the Hydropeptide Eye Authority Cream and this stuff is amazing because a lot of eye creams tend to give me like melia um, like under my eyes like those little white things and actually finding um, the right eye cream that works with you and be talk to your esthetician um, it will really help with preventing everything and especially at my age you know I don't want to be doing too much anti-age because my skin needs to um, work on its own before I, I hit it with all these AHA and BHA primers because um, our skin will become dependent on that, especially at my age. So maybe when I'm a little bit older, I'll go into a lot of anti-age, but for right now, we're just trying to like, you know, preventative measures and hydrating the skin without doing too much to it. You know, the Cetaphil also helps with that because it's very mild. So I'm applying this with my um, middle fingers because our index fingers are too strong for our eye and we really don't want to screw up that tissue. We want to keep it nice and calm. And after I have my eye and hydration serum on, I'm going to do my Facial Feel Anti-Wrinkle Cream, and I'm going to place that all over my neck because everyone always forgets about their neck. And you just kind of put it on your neck. Don't forget the back of your neck. I just kind of bring it by my ears. And this helps to keep our neck fully hydrated. Um, I just don't use this particular cream on my face because I find that it's a little bit too thick for my liking and some of the ingredients are pure in the, um, the serum that I use because you always have to look at the ingredients. The pores are where are what's absorbing everything so you want to make sure that you're filling them with good things especially if you're priming them first with um, primer. To take off all my makeup I like to use the Obagi Foaming Gel and this stuff is really really strong and I find it works for my skin because sometimes all the um, oil-based makeup removers tend to clog my pores. It just happens with my skin, and a lot of it comes from really listening to your skin because um, a lot of um, a lot of corporations want to like um, put their clients in a mold. And honestly, it's like everyone's skin is independent. So like this one cream isn't gonna work for all these people. So it's really listening to what your skin needs and working your situation. It's like okay, do I eat well? Like, is there a hormone imbalance? Because a lot of people don't think about all these things when, when they think of, like, um, breakouts on their face. So all that stuff I just did is perfect for a nighttime skincare routine, but for the day, if I'm going outside, I like to put SPF on um, and also prime my face with dimethicone because that's going to ensure that all my pores are gone and I'm going to look airbrushed and perfect all throughout the day. And that is the Replenix Ultimate Perfection. Um, and it's an SPF 50 and it's a tinted physical sunscreen, but it's totally thin It like doesn't even smell like sunscreen at all and it has green tea and vitamin C um, And all this other stuff that's supposed to be good for you I put that on and it just gives your skin this veil of just like oh 
It makes everything look so perfect. So every day after I cleanse my face, I have to tone my face of course and that's going to ensure that my pH balance gets restored and also it gets any oil, dirt, and other stuff out of your pores throughout the day that might have built up. Um, so make sure to do that after with a cotton pad. Um, and I use the Thayer's uh, Witch Hazel in lavender and cucumber, my two favorite flavors. And I added just a hint of tea tree oil to this one, um, just for a little bit of like an astringent, because tea tree oil is so good for your skin, but um, not too much though. So another thing that I'm in love with is the Bag Bomb Skin Moisturizer. And this stuff is amazing for slabbing on your cuticles at night, for lips, for elbows, anywhere you, where you might be really dry. It helps to replenish everything. It doesn't smell the best, but I know it's getting the job done. So that's another reason why I like it. Another kind of moisturizer-esque thing that I picked up was the Nourish Organic Argan, Argan Butter. And this stuff, it's all natural. It's just um, argan oil, shea butter, and coconut oil. It literally smells like like baked cupcakes. It smells so good, so you should pick it up. Oh my God, and I just slab this stuff on everywhere. It totally gives a sheen to the skin, um, but it's so good for at night. It moisturizes everything, and by morning, you'll be good as new. So another toner thing I use is the Blue Astringent from Kiehl's, and I just put that on the area right after I shaved it because um, sometimes it might be a little too strong for my whole face, so just as an aftershave, which it's recommended for, I like to do that um, if you shave your face. So another one of my favorites is the Black Forest Gummy Bears, um, the organic gummy bears, because I eat so many gummies like the Haribo Coke bottles that it's so nice to have organic ones. You know, it makes me feel a little bit better about what I'm eating. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys liked it. Be sure to check out my Instagram and socials at Zach Dish and my new initiative with the Trevor Project called Mission Z. Bye, guys. I'll see you next time.